everybody, 2016 Tundra SR5 four-wheel drive with a V8. This is an awesome truck, exactly one that you're looking for if you like these. Now, we do have a little bit of a bite on the door from the damage. That's what you're going to hear as we open it. No actual damage on the sheet metal. It's just a, the paint that's catching there. Inside, we have steering wheel, airbag, and the knee bag deployed, as well as a curtain on either side, so a total of four airbags. The good news is you got great options on the inside, the big touch screen, backup camera, satellite radio, really nice inside, looks and smells good, really well equipped. Really, this left side looks great. I don't think you have a whole lot going on here until we get back around to the front. There's some secondary damage here at the rear. You can see something just poked through the tailgate here. Gate does open and close. It has the assisted drop, which is really nice. Backup camera, like we said. You can see this rear bumper just got turned upwards a little bit. It's probably usable. I don't think you have any damage behind there. Body lines on the bed and, and gate are all fine. So uh, definitely cosmetic stuff back there. This right side looks great until we get to the fender, which is going to be kind of our, uh, our primary damage here. So you can see this fender here, this door will just barely catch. Same thing, I don't think you have any significant issue there on the sheet metal, maybe just some paint. Fender's got to go. Now this hood is okay. I think the, the hit was low enough, it really looks okay. A couple just minor things, I think those are probably there previously. This upper uh, trim piece here looks fine too. Again, minor things on it, but probably not from the damage. You can see headlight assembly, this main grill assembly, I would count on replacing. I mean, some of it's okay, but the backsplash is damaged, this is damaged. I would just count on getting a new grill. You can see, obviously, lower bumper is pushed in. Now, the front reinforcement bar did get pushed in here, so we do have a little bit of damage on the frame. Probably can catch it from this side. Right at the horn there, just got pushed in and folded back a bit. So that's something that's going to need to be addressed. I don't know if it's a pull, if it's a section, it's going to be your call, not ours, but it's something you'll want to address. We do have a little bit of damage here on the upper structure. You can see the upper inner fender got pushed back kind of along with the core support. Cooling units do have some damage here. I can see the radiator, the low side has some damage in it as well. So I would probably count on, on swapping out the cooling on it. There's a chance that the fan shroud and assembly may be okay. Good news, plenty of space for the motor. This sits well back there. There's really no damage. There's some wiring harnesses and hoses in the front that all look a-okay. No, no issue there. So uh, cooling, you may be doing a swap, but nothing on the motor. You will be dealing with the frame though, that's something that's going to need to be addressed to get it right. Left headlight assembly, tab broken on the top, some moisture getting in the lens, same thing, just kind of replacing it. This fender actually looks okay. You have that little catch there on the paint with the door, but I think that's just a touch of it. That's something you can live with. So you don't even need a whole clip on this. These are big money trucks. They're hard to find with this type of damage. They're usually a lot worse off than this. So this is something that you, that you really can get into. If you have any questions, please give us a call, 315-735-8538. Thank you very much.